Hello and welcome back to Team Winger 5. Today I'm going to show you a nice and quick easy way to port an ISO onto a USB stick. Using the application you can see on your screen, I'll put a link in the description, it's called Rufus. So I've copied that to this folder and let's open it up and see what it looks like. First up, if it's the first time you're opening it, it wants to know if you can check for updates, allow it. And then it gives you this very simple interface where I'm just going to go down from the top and see what the options are. The first option is a destination device, so I've got a C stick because it's USB 3 stick, that's why I call it that. Then we choose the file type, most of you won't have to worry about this, keep it on BIOS or UEFI mode. Then we take a large FAT32, again don't worry about it, and the chapter size. Then choose the name of it, and go down to this menu and choose an ISO image. And from this point you just select whichever ISO you want. So in this case what I'm going to do is just select an Ubuntu image I've got lying around. From this point onwards, you're done. All you need to do is press start. And what this does, it treats the USB stick as what was an old CD or DVD, and it allows you to boot to it. That means you can install an operating system right from your USB stick. But you can do this with any distribution of Linux that you want. All you need is the ISO file. The reason I've chosen Rufus is purely because it's so flexible and doesn't really care what you load into it. So whether you're using Linux or Windows 10, for example, because if you remember the Windows tool itself actually allows you to create an ISO of Windows 10 to upgrade your machine. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this nice quick video of loading an ISO onto a USB.